A woman who was clinging to life just a few months ago now has a new outlook. The video of an attempted arson just about an hour away from Bowling Green has now been seen all over the internet and even world news. In this case, the suspect learns about karma and not playing with fire. Abby Elmore is following the story in Madisonville. All right, thank you, Chris. And now more on that breaking news in the Gabby Doolin homicide investigation. Gabby, the little seven-year-old girl from Allen County, she was found dead last Saturday night in Scottsville. Sources close to that investigation tell us Timmy Madden of Allen County has been arrested in connection to her death. You can follow us at WBKO.com across our social media platforms as we continue to follow this developing story. We'll be right back. A teenager shot in the head at a Bowling Green Park overnight. We do have an update right now to a story that we've been following all week. The Warren County Sheriff's Office says 16-year-old Emily Rhodes, who has been missing since Monday, has been found in Maine. She was not injured. 20-year-old David Harvey has been arrested on a warrant from Kentucky. The investigation continues. Police say charges are expected to be filed. We are delighted to be in Munfordville in Hart County for Operation School Supplies. Our partnership with 105.3 The Point and Wovo 106.3 and Darren Stebergen is here from Commonwealth Broadcasting. So here we are day three. How's the week going so far? It's been great. Yes, we are live in Munfordville at McDonald's. We hope that you will come and see us. We've been here since 11 o'clock today for Operation School Supplies. We're at CMA Music Festival with one of the stars of the hit TV show Nashville. I was just telling you, I've seen every single episode. Love this show. It Thank just keeps you. me on the edge of my seat from week to week. All right. How much fun have you had working on this show? Oh, I've just had a blast working on the show. One of the earliest lessons we learn in the real world, life is hard. And while prevailing through those tough times, makes you come out stronger on the other side. Sometimes you need a little help, some advice, some perspective from an unbiased source. Courtney Edwards is a certified empowerment life coach. We love that word, <laughs> empowerment. What made you want to be a life coach? We are on set the show Cooking 8020 with Robin Shea, now featured on the Paula Dean Network. Yes. Paula Dean in the house in Bowling Green, Kentucky. I think you perhaps as well as anybody, you know the importance of fan support because they voted you as the season 10 winner of American Idol, which is huge. Sure. And that really launched your career. So you know how important it is for that fan loyalty. Yeah. Some notable names in music coming to Bowling Green Ballpark in a couple of weeks. Longtime rocker Ted Nugent, grunge band Puddle of Mud, country rock artist Uncle Cracker. Also an alum of reality TV singing show The Voice, Sawyer Fredericks, a South Central Kentucky native who also gained exposure on national television. Rye Davis from the great city of Pig in the greater metro of Minson County area. That's right. I'm from the metropolis of Pig, Kentucky. It That's is. right. Yeah. You put Pig on the map, my friend. Well, I this morning, Russellville police continue to investigate a shooting that happened late last night. The Logan County coroner confirms to us that it was fatal. The shooting took place on Edwards Street in Russellville. And I know a lot of people feel like they know your family so intimately from your husband's autobiography and the film. Um, but was writing your book, was this a way to channel your grief into something positive and full of hope? Things are popping at Popworks Artists and Pops, the Airstream Park right next here to Griff's Deli on Scottsville Road. Tim Earnhardt, Ed Griffin, owners of this. What a super great idea this was to open right here in the dog days of summer. March is more than persistent winter weather, daylight saving time, and NCAA basketball. We celebrate all things green, good fortune, and Irish come St. Patrick's Day on March 17th. Chef Danny Gonzalez is here with 440 Maine, and you're cooking some scallops today, and always a fun celebration at 440 on St. Patty's Day. Oh, absolutely. Food allergies are so common. One out of every 13 kids in America has one. Lots of houses give out safe treats, too, like stickers or crayons or small toys and last year it was posted online that people with allergy free treats should paint a pumpkin teal put it outside so other families would know Sarah Whiteside got in on that her son cook has food allergies what has this meant to you the teal pumpkin project we're at the LD Brown Ag Expo Center the site of the American Ranch Horse Association 2015 World Show. Ernie Dow, Slick, and Jed Lawrence here to tell us more about it. And Ernie, you say the show actually started here 11 years ago. Yes, ma'am. Today we are paying a visit to Rustic Nail and Company. 
Kyle Cochran is the owner, and thank you for having us here today. We appreciate your time. Thank you for having me. We're celebrating the holidays today in Woodburn at Rock Garden Farm. Darlene Sawyers and Linda Hendricks have invited us in today. And the second you walk in, it's so cozy and homey. I love the atmosphere that you have here, Darlene. Oh, thank you. A Muhlenberg County man is behind bars this morning after police say he threatened a woman all day and held her captive. We are live with the beautiful and charming Kelly Pickler. You have had such a busy week. It's impossible not to have fun doing that. Of course, you're driving cars really fast. You're running from the bad guys. You always win, right? So what's not the to love? Good guys win. Bad. Nobody gets hurt. Texas Swing. That's Texas Swing, the debut single and new music video from Bailey James. She is 13 years old and in the seventh grade and already releasing her debut album, where it all begins this Friday. We know it'll be a very good beginning for you. We're so glad that you're back with us Thank today. Thank you for inviting me. Well, you are so welcome. You're in town this week in Bowling Green. You're speaking mm -hmm. to some students at Cumberland Trace and Rich Pond yes. Elementary Schools. They're having some assemblies. Tell me what your message is to those young people. 